Yeah, what's good y'all? I wanted to add another layer to these videos by giving you all a glimpse as to how they're actually made in case you're a little bit curious but don't want a whole tutorial just yet. I would appreciate if you check out this whole video so you can give me feedback on the graphics that appear on screen and on the mix that I made with some beats courtesy of a very influential producer in the UK drill scene. What you said? I use a free program called HitFilm Express to edit videos because it has everything needed to make basic YouTube videos. I'm going to open my reaction template, which is just a project file that has my workspace preset with my watermark, intro and outro already imported so that I don't have to do it with every edit. This walkthrough is only capturing the main window, but when I click import, I just select the video files from the window that opens, then I arrange the clips on the timeline and move the video outro to the end. This alone cuts about 10 minutes from my editing time. From here, the majority of editing is literally just cutting the video files by pressing Ctrl Shift D and dragging the edges of the video clip where I want by looking at the little spikes in the green audio layers. At this point, I'm just watching the footage again so I can see if there's any words that I haven't already explained that may be new to an American listener. I save all of the graphics to make future editing way easier. Then I just add some transitions to the graphics so that way it appears and disappears smoothly. I use GIMP, which is another free program for all of my graphics because it's essentially a free Photoshop. Like the videos, I have a project file where I save each phrase that I explain. All I have to do is make a copy of the last one, edit the text, add a shadow, and export it so the new graphic can be added to the video. When I reach a really dramatic point in the reaction, I just cut it out and color code it so I know exactly what section to cut and paste as the reaction preview before the intro plays. I make my thumbnails by using a feature in HitFilm that lets me export the exact frame that I'm on. I just wait until I make a funny reaction to save and edit with a process similar to how I make my translation graphics. Again, I was only screen recording the main window so sorry it looks like my mouse is moving around randomly. After more chopping and dragging, I end the edit by dragging the outro to the end of the whole timeline and then setting the watermark to disappear where the rest of the video ends. All that's left is to watch the reaction over to make sure everything is good to go, then edit my thumbnail while the video exports. So yeah, that's it. In the future, this channel is not only going to be about providing content and entertainment, but also showing you how anybody can make these kinds of videos using completely free resources. While I do enjoy the music itself, what I really find purpose in is sharing new information with people. That's why I started doing reaction videos in the first place. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I plan on doing a lot more like these in the future. But until next time, peace.